While a farmer is digging a new irrigation trench on his land in Michigan, his shovel strikes something unusual, and as he unearths something shocking, he immediately calls the cops. John was a hard-working farmer with a deep connection to his land. Since losing his wife to a sudden illness five years ago, he had poured himself into the farm. Every row he plowed and every seed he'd planted was a tribute to the life they had shared. And he knew the land as much as he'd known her, like the back of his hands. So, when his shovel struck something hard and unusual as he dug a new irrigation trench, the feeling sent a shudder up his arms and through his shoulder. That was odd, he thought. The sound was also different than before, not the usual clunk of hard soil or rock. Curious, he dug further. He uncovered a large, mysterious object with a rather smooth surface. Beneath the dirt, its color was light. John's fingers kept digging. His heart raced as more of the strange object came into view. He tried pulling on it, but it wouldn't budge. It was buried too deep into the ground. It was too big for him to unearth all on his own and unlike anything he'd ever seen before. Realizing it could be significant, possibly even historical, he dropped his shovel and wiped the sweat from his brow. Without hesitation, John reached for his phone and immediately called the police. The police arrived within minutes of his call. Their lights flashed in the early morning light. Officer Daniels was a local who had known John for years. He stepped out of the patrol car and greeted him with a nod. What do you have here? Daniels asked. John pointed to the partially uncovered object in the trench and said he thought it was something significant. Daniels approached the trench and peered down at the mysterious find. Finally, they revealed a large, ancient-looking bone. The size and shape were unmistakable, but it was unlike any animal bone commonly found in the area. This looks old, Daniels muttered. He reached for his radio. We need some experts here. Within hours, a team from the local university arrived. They were led by Dr. Joan Carter, a paleontologist specializing in prehistoric animals. She and her colleagues unloaded their equipment and quickly set up around the site. John watched as they began their meticulous work. Dr. Carter knelt by the bone. Her eyes widened as she examined it. This is incredible, she said, more to herself than anyone else. She turned to John and Daniels. This is a woolly mammoth bone. Based on the size and condition, it's likely part of a nearly complete skeleton. John was astonished. His land had yielded something truly remarkable. The university team continued to dig and carefully uncovered more bones. Dr. Carter explained the significance of the find to John and the officers. Woolly mammoths roamed this area over 10,000 years ago. Finding such a well-preserved specimen is rare. This site could provide invaluable insights into the prehistoric environment and the people who lived here. The days following the initial discovery were a whirlwind of activity. The university team worked tirelessly. They carefully excavated the site while documenting every find. The bones continued to emerge, each one adding to the excitement and curiosity surrounding the discovery. Dr. Joan Carter spent long hours at the site, piecing together the story of the woolly mammoth. One afternoon, as John watched from the edge of the excavation, she approached him. Her eyes were alight with excitement. John, I need to show you something, she said, before leading him to a newly unearthed section of the site. There, partially uncovered, was the nearly complete skeleton of the woolly mammoth. The massive skull, with its curved tusks, lay in the corner. It was surrounded by vertebrae, ribs, and other bones. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The sheer scale of the creature was evident even in its disassembled state. This is extraordinary, Dr. Carter explained. Finding such a complete skeleton is incredibly rare, but that's not all we've discovered. She led John to another part of the site where a series of smaller bones and artifacts had been uncovered. These are the remains of smaller animals and some primitive tools, she said, pointing to the carefully arranged items. It looks like this site might have been used by ancient humans to store meat. John's eyes widened in surprise. Dr. Carter said, The positioning of the bones and the presence of these tools suggest that ancient humans may have hunted or scavenged the mammoth and stored its meat here. The chemistry of the soil and the water in this area could have helped preserve the remains for thousands of years. The revelation added a profound layer of historical significance to the discovery. This was not just the resting place of a woolly mammoth, it was also a window into the lives of the ancient humans who had once roamed this land. The site provided a unique glimpse into their survival strategies and their relationship with the environment. 
News of the discovery spread rapidly. Historians and archaeologists from around the world took notice. The small Michigan town found itself at the center of an international story. Journalists and researchers flocked to the site, eager to learn more about the remarkable find. The university team expanded their efforts, bringing in specialists in ancient human history and environmental science. They used advanced technology, ground-penetrating radar, and 3D scanning to map the site and analyze the remains in greater detail. Every bone and artifact was meticulously cataloged, and each piece contributed to the unfolding story of the past. John watched in amazement. His farm, once just a place of toil and routine, had become a portal to a distant era. One evening, as the sun set over the fields, Dr. Carter gathered the team and the townspeople to share the latest findings. She explained how the site's unique conditions had preserved the remains and how the discovery of the tools and smaller bones indicated a sophisticated method of meat storage. This site tells us so much about the resilience and ingenuity of ancient humans, she said. It shows their ability to adapt and survive in a harsh environment. And it's all thanks to John and his careful observation that we've been able to uncover this incredible story. As the excavation continued, John found himself more involved in the process. He learned about the tools and techniques used by the university team and took an active role in the work. The experience was transformative. It rekindled a sense of curiosity he hadn't felt in years. The historical significance of the site continued to unfold. Each day brought new insights and revelations. The bones and artifacts told the story of survival, adaptation, and the deep bond between humans and their environment. Volunteers arrived daily, ready to assist the university team. Some helped with the physical labor of digging and sifting through the soil, while others brought food and supplies to keep the workers energized. The town's bakery sent fresh pastries each morning, and the local diner provided hot meals for lunch. Local artists set up easels to capture the scene. They painted vibrant depictions of the excavation and the people involved. Musicians brought their instruments and provided a cheerful soundtrack to the work being done. The site was alive with energy and camaraderie. The collaboration between the university and the town was seamless. Each group brought their unique strengths and perspectives to the project. John's farm, once a quiet and solitary place, now played a role in understanding the heritage of life on the planet. John's personal transformation was perhaps the most profound. The excavation had given him a new lease on life, and it reignited a passion for learning and discovery. He found joy in the simple act of unearthing the past, and the connections he made with his neighbors brought a sense of belonging and fulfillment. In the evenings, after the day's work was done, John often sat on his porch. The land he had cared for so diligently had revealed a hidden chapter of history and in doing so, it had brought him closer to his community and to himself. The sense of purpose and connection he felt was a gift. He knew he would carry it with him long after the excavation was complete. One sunny afternoon, John was working alongside Dr. Carter near the mammoth's ribcage. The ground was yielding more than just bones. It seemed to be a treasure trove of ancient history. John's hands were now steady and practiced. He sifted through the soil with care. He paused when his fingers brushed against something small and hard. Gently, he unearthed a small, intricately carved object. It was unlike anything they had found so far. John held it up to the light. His heart pounded with excitement and curiosity. Dr. Carter noticed his discovery and quickly made her way over. Let's see what you got there, she said. John handed her the object. Dr. Carter examined it closely. Then, her expression shifted from curiosity to amazement. This is incredible she murmured. It's a tool, likely used by ancient humans. The carvings indicate a level of craftsmanship that suggests significant cultural development. The artifact was a small stone tool. It had been carefully shaped and adorned with intricate patterns. It was a remarkable find, one that hinted at the sophisticated lives of the people who had once inhabited the land. As the team continued to analyze the artifact, it became clear that John's land was not just the final resting place of a woolly mammoth, but also a site of early human activity. That was now proven. The significance of this revelation was profound. The carvings on the tool indicated that the area had been inhabited by a community that possessed advanced skills and a rich cultural heritage for the era. The artifact was carefully cataloged and preserved. It became a central piece in the story of the excavation. It symbolized the link between the ancient inhabitants of the land and the present-day community. 
bridging millennia with its silent evidence of the ingenuity and resilience of early humans. As the excavation progressed, the project began to face unexpected challenges. The initial excitement and momentum started to wane as the team encountered funding issues. The university's budget for the excavation was stretched thin. It quickly became clear that additional resources were needed to continue the meticulous work. Compounding the financial strain, environmental challenges also emerged. Unseasonal heavy rains turned the excavation site into a muddy quagmire. The weather made it difficult to work and threatened the integrity of the unearthed artifacts and bones. The team struggled to protect their findings from the elements. They erected makeshift shelters and drained the site as best they could, but it was far from ideal. Despite these setbacks, John's determination remained unwavering. He refused to let these obstacles derail the significant work being done on his land. Seeing the struggle, the community rallied once again. Local businesses organized fundraisers and townspeople donated what they could to help cover the costs of the excavation. Volunteers worked tirelessly to build proper shelters and drainage systems to protect the site from further weather damage. The university team was bolstered by the community's support. With the additional funds and resources, they were able to bring in specialized equipment and additional experts to assist with the excavation. The environmental challenges were mitigated and the project regained its momentum. After months of painstaking excavation and analysis, the university team made a groundbreaking revelation. The site was not just a temporary hunting ground, but a major prehistoric human settlement, much larger than they had originally estimated. Detailed analysis of the artifacts and bone arrangements uncovered a wealth of evidence, remnants of dwellings, hearths used for cooking, and an array of tools that pointed to a thriving community. Dr. Carter gathered everyone at the site. We have discovered that this land was home to one of the earliest human settlements in North America, she announced. This find provides invaluable insights into the daily lives, survival strategies, and social structures of ancient humans. We've never found anything like this before, anywhere in the world. As the significance of the discovery sank in, John was flabbergasted. What was happening on his land far exceeded anything he could ever have imagined. With the excavation completed, the university team, the community, and John worked together to ensure the findings would be preserved and shared with future generations. A small museum was established on John's land. It showcased the woolly mammoth skeleton, the carved artifact, and numerous other items that painted a vivid picture of prehistoric life. The opening day of the museum was a grand affair. The whole town turned out to celebrate, along with visitors from neighboring areas. Children marveled at the enormous mammoth skeleton. Their eyes wide with wonder, and their minds carried the stories their bright imaginations constructed around the mammoth and early humans. At the same time, adults reflected on the deeper historical significance of the site. John stood at the entrance and welcomed guests with a warm smile. The museum on John's land became a place where people gathered to learn, reflect, and celebrate their shared history. Local schools incorporated visits to the museum into their curriculum and historians and archaeologists from around the country visited to study the findings. The museum quickly became a major draw card for the town. John often found himself reflecting on the journey that had brought them to this point. He thought about the day he had struck that mysterious object with his shovel, unaware of the incredible journey it would set in motion. He remembered the excitement of the discovery, the challenges they had faced, and the unwavering support of his community. The farm used to be a place of solitude. Now, it was a vibrant hub of activity and learning. The journey had been long and filled with unexpected twists, but it had led to something beautiful and lasting. He knew that the discoveries on his land would inspire generations to come and teach them about the ingenuity of their ancestors. The museum was more than just a building. It was a bridge connecting the past to the present, and it was a legacy that John was incredibly proud to have been a part of. Do you have a story about an unbelievable archaeological find that changed the future of a town? Tell us about it in the comments. We'd love to hear. For now though, we're out of here. Catch you in the next video.